I'm coming in hot. <laughs> Today I'm in quite a state. I am au natural getting ready for the day, but I wanted to test out a hair tutorial for you and I did some pre-work. I put my hair in braids last night so that we could just begin fresh and lovely today. So last night I put my hair in braids. Today I'm going to be attempting to try the Desi Perkins hair tutorial, which I have lusted <laughs> over on Instagram for so long. Desi, I have this like, I don't know if I've ever voiced this before. I have quite a strong like female obsession with Desi Perkins. I speak often about how I, I don't understand how someone can be so perfect. And that definitely stands true for her hair as well. Now I, from what I understand, that woman gets her hair done a whole lot. She's got extensions. I do not. So the thickness will not be there. There's also a little bit of length lacking, but regardless, Desi was posting with this insane, beautiful, curly hair. I messaged Hair by Armine, my sweet, loving friend and stylist, and I was like, Armine, <laughs> how do I do this hair? And that was back in January. I've been planning on trying out this hairstyle for so long. When Desi posted her video, I got so excited. I was like, wow, I was not expecting that to be as easy as it seemed. So I'm gonna link the video here if you wanna watch it. I will also list it in the description box down below. But I finally picked up the exact curling iron that she used because it's very thin. Oh, I forgot it's not on yet. <laughs> Essentially what she did was put her hair in four braids overnight. Now she's got like quite a natural curl to her hair it seems, so she um, had some natural curl existing around the head already, but I actually just French braided my hair so that it would get some of the top pieces a little bit more. And then all she does is take the braids out and then curls on top of it and it just creates the most lioness, gorgeous, sun goddess, my god, hair that I've ever seen and that's all I want and I hope that my hair keeps growing so that someday I can do it in full but we're gonna try it today and see how it turns out now I will say that when your hair like her hair when she's been featuring this has pretty significant blonde bits and highlights running through it and that makes such a difference in the look of texture in the hair now that my hair is kind of all one solid color I know already that it's not gonna be as standout as that is like I find that whenever I have highlights or more blonde in my hair it just like creates this illusion of layers and texture so much more in the hair. You know what I mean? Like when you style your hair, it's so much more visibly styled. But alas, we're going to try it anyway. So I'm gonna turn the hot tools on. This is a really small little thing on. Okay, we're gonna let that heat up. And in the meantime, I'm going to remove my sweet little braids and we're just gonna give this a test. I thought it'd be fun, I'm especially while we're in this quarantine land, I thought I would, um, you know, try out some different hairstyles. I would love for you guys to send me some hairstyles that you do. I, I spent a day looking at updos the one day. I was stalking a bunch of updo tutorials on YouTube and trying to figure out how to do some pretty buns because my hairstyle arsenal is pretty freaking limited. There's not many hairstyles that I know how to do and I would love to learn how to do some and you know, get all Pinterest on my head. So if you guys have any favorite hairstyles that you like to do, definitely hook us up in the comments below. Okay, hey, <laughs> that is curled, fam. Hey, this might be successful. Ooh, I'm excited. All right, those are the braids out. Now the only two products I grabbed was my hair oil. I've been using this Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil. I actually picked this up when I was back at home last. I went for a little shop with Armin and she, hooked me up with what to buy. So I picked up that oil, that's what I've been using. It's really great and like you use nothing, it's insane. Like I've used it since February and it doesn't even look like I've used any at all, which is pretty crazy. I also grabbed my Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. Ugh, I don't know, man, like I don't know what, but sometimes when I use hair masks, whether it's the water treatment type, hard or soft water, whatever, or my shitty, not very hard hitting shower head, um, I find that whenever I use an extra thick hair mask or I use a lot of it, like it just doesn't wash out properly. So I grabbed dry shampoo just in case we need that later. Okay, so I'm just gonna like fluff up my hair a little bit. This is like, this is a lot of curl. I actually really like this. Like. I kind of thought maybe it would be a little bit too curled, but 
essentially it gives you totally the same look as like the wave curler, the wave tool that I have, but no heats involved. We've been doing braids for a long time, people, but I just hadn't done them tight. Like I usually do pretty loose braids and I kind of like it. So anyway, the whole premise of this hair tutorial is that you get so much natural wave from the braids and then you go ahead with this very thin curling iron and you create smaller curls to kind of make it look less braidy, more natural curly wave and the effect that it has on Desi's hair is like insane. It's the type of natural hair texture that I wish I had. The grass is always greener, I get it, but like, oh, to wake up with hair like that. Oh my God. Um, so we're gonna try and fake it today. I'm gonna see if this is hot enough. Oh. Yep, whoo, she's steamy. Okay, so I'm gonna start on the back of the head just in case I screw this up. So she took pretty small pieces and then leaves a lot of space in between the hair. So when you put the hair, you're wrapping it around, you're leaving quite a large gap in between the hairs, like that. <laughs> and then doing the same. I mean, she removed the tool from the hair, but I'm just gonna slide it down because maybe the same thing will happen. I'm gonna see how that goes. Oh god. Okay, that didn't curl so much, so I'll leave it on a little bit longer. She also curled like the bottom of the hairs down like that. Okay, I'm gonna use smaller pieces. That didn't curl as much as I kind of was expecting it to. So I'm gonna grab a smaller chunk and then I'm going to reverse them. So that one was facing away and then this one I'm gonna face towards me. Ooh, okay, that one worked out real nice. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We're gonna have such voluminous bouncy hair, I'm gonna cry. So I'm essentially just gonna keep doing this throughout the head, grabbing chunks as we go to achieve this beautiful natural curly look. I also forgot to mention at the beginning that I did blow dry my hair last night like halfway before putting them into the braids and then braided them. So it wasn't like sopping wet just to make sure that it actually does dry. And then once you pull it out, just give it a little, give it a little tug to loosen it up. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how those curls went down. Now just the ends, like from the little tiny elastics, they look a little bit, <laughs> well, let's just say it shows my, my dead ends very deeply. So I'm just gonna go ahead and curl some of those under to make sure it looks less like, <laughs> less like a hay bale, and we'll try and add a couple more curls in. So because this wand is so small, it's just really easy to go in there and flip a few of them around. I cannot imagine how fun this would be on longer hair. Oh my word. I, <sighs> we're getting there guys. 2020 growth is on its way. So this is the curled hair. This is the finished side. So this one's just a lot more like flat just like kind of wavy, very much braidy, and this one's like, whoa, does she have natural curls? <laughs> we don't know. <gasps> wow, I'm super stoked with how this looks. I feel like I could even go ahead and add a few more curls on the underside, but I'm pretty happy with how it looks, and you know, the less heat, the better, right? I'm just gonna dry shampoo this side just to see what it looks like. With a little bit more volume fluffed up there, we'll let that dry shampoo poo soak in there. While we go ahead and do the other side, I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side. Just go through, curl a couple pieces here and there as we see fit, and then we'll be back at the end to see what it looks like! Ah! I'm really excited. Can you tell? When I do my squeals, you know it's, it's real. <laughs> I don't know what's happening to this front piece. It's not working out so well. <laughs> Gonna run dry shampoo through the other side. I don't know if I've ever stated this on the camera before, but when I apply dry shampoo, I like to go blow dry it out. Blow dry all the excess out. So I'm just gonna go blow dry my hair real quick. And look back after. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly! 
Okay, and as a final step, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil just to those ends that are looking a little bit dry. Just gonna rub that between my hands, run that through. Okay guys, so this is the finished hair look. I'm like, okay, honestly, it took a lot longer than I was expecting because you're essentially going in and curling half your head after and with such a smaller wand. You know, it takes a lot of time when you're using a smaller wand, smaller pieces. It was quite an adventure. However, I feel like this is the type of hair that you can wear for many days and do some very minimal touch-ups and it'll still look good. This is like my dream hair. All this volume, all this curl, it looks so natural. I'm so excited about this. Dear Desi Perkins, thank you for bringing this into our lives. I feel like this would look really good on short hair too, like even just using this wand. I don't know how well the braids would work, like when I had really short hair, braids were pretty tough but even just getting this very, very small curling iron to do similar waves would be so fun. I'm really excited about this hair. I am thrilled that it worked out. What do you think of it? I'm super excited to have this in my hair arsenal. And like I already mentioned before, if you guys have any other kind of hair tutorials or hairstyles that you love and want me to try, leave a comment in the comments down below. I'm just gonna go stare at myself and play with my hair now. <laughs> That's the look, you guys. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for another video. Bye!